the sea, wash away with the tide. Out into the sea, Lord knows. Well, hey, I'm Rob uh, Mutant. I'm the founder of Escape Camper Vans. Wash away with the tide. Out into the sea, oh. Lord knows we try. The whole idea of uh, you know of simplifying your life and um, you know not needing you know massive RVs or just more stuff and and more uh, systems and televisions and I, I think people have, have moved away from that. Giving it all. When we buy them, they're white and um, you know they they've got grey interiors and they don't have much of a personality so we built the first van and, and stood back and we're like you know what that's not really that cool at all what can we do just to give it a bit of personality and a friend of a friend said i've got a friend that's a graffiti artist how about we have him paint it you know once we painted the first one we stood back and we're like this is the answer no joke i mean they look so good they all have their own personalities um the, the van's become such a big part of people's trips i mean a lot of times people would never do this, would never rent a funky painted vehicle and, and go anywhere or have a funky painted vehicle or have anything to do with a funky painted vehicle. And I know, I know some people show up and they, they're not too uh, convinced that this is the greatest idea they ever had, but when they come back they're amazed at how cool the bands uh, are, how many doors they open, and they're part of their um, photos. I mean, we've had people get them tattooed on them, you know, after they've returned because it was just such a huge, you know, left such a huge impression and I, and I truly believe the artwork is a, you know, has a, you know, huge influence in that and, and for us just to be around it is, is great as well, it's a great place to work, it's a great thing to be a part of just to have all that art in your, in your you know, in your life on a daily basis uh, just makes you feel good. That's not easy. The California coast, Big Sur is just absolutely breathtaking. San Francisco is a neat city. If you're going to go to a city, you can't get a bad meal and uh, some great live music and um, just tons of stuff happening. It's got a great energy. Um, and you've got your Golden Gate Bridge and all that stuff you got to see. The redwoods are pretty immense. I mean, if you uh, you know if you stand up next to one of those trees, you're not going to believe how big they are. Yosemite is beautiful. Death Valley, as long as you're not there in the middle of summer, is pretty amazing. The Grand Canyon is pretty hard to wrap your head around. Bryce, Zion, you name it. It's just absolutely, there's so much to see. I don't even think we've covered a couple of states there. Out into the sea, wash away with the tide. I would say my top tips are, you know, just pack light. You don't need all that stuff you think you need. Just bring the essentials. You know, America is a big developed country. If you're traveling here, you can get everything you need within a couple of days. So you don't need to bring the kitchen sink. We'll, we'll provide you with the kitchen sink, you know. Get off the beaten track. You know, don't be in a hurry to get everywhere would be my uh, other piece of advice. Like, we get people that race around and, uh, you know, they don't have that true experience. Like, maybe pick two or three or three or four things you really want to see and then just take your time getting there and, and talk to the people in the campgrounds. I mean, if you get an escape van, the, the artwork will open the doors, people will talk to you, and they'll tell you where the best hot springs are, or the best hikes are, or the best restaurants, or the, the best local beer, or whatever it may be. So, uh, you know, just take your time, and, and definitely hit those big spots that we're seeing, they're breathtaking, but you know, some of that stuff in between is, uh, you know, is, is the best experiences you have. So this is an escape camper van. This is the Mavericks model. Uh, what we like to call a living room, dining room, and bedroom. Uh, currently living and dining. I'll show you how the bedroom works. A couple of cushions here. Make up the bed. Get those out. Take the table down. Move the table there. Another board we keep under here, we call a bed board. Pull him out. And then just pick the couch up down here nice and long. Pull it towards you. Drops down there. 
This one's back on. And there you go. We give you pillows, pillowcases, duvets, duvet covers, fitted sheets that go around there and make a uh, approximately a queen size bit. Okay, so all the vans have uh, curtains all the way around, which are really good for sleeping, obviously, and they're all blackout curtains. So when the doors close, no light gets through that. You can uh, you can sleep very easily. Doesn't matter where or uh, the kitchen and how that works in the, uh, in the escape camper van. Um, Start here. Well, all the vans have um, have water on board. It's just a hand pump. Um, there's six gallons of water uh, that come with the vehicle, and uh, then there's a holding tank um, also that holds that water. And then there's plenty of places to, to dump it in, in the U.S. Uh, with each vehicle, uh, three sets of everything: three cups, um, three uh, coffee cups, bowls, plates. There's knives, forks, can openers, corkscrews, matches, um, pot scrubber, um, three camp chairs right here. Uh, we have a refrigerator. Um, the refrigerator runs on um, 12 volt battery and also there's a solar panel that uh, tops up that 12 volt battery. Uh, keeps it running. Actually, if you turn it all the way to max, we'll freeze food. It's very good. Uh, this is the camping stove. They're really handy. We give you two propane canisters to start with, and it you know, obviously depends on how much cooking you're doing, but they last three or four or four or five days and, um, and work really well. So that's the gas, and screw on the side, and, uh, and away you go. Some pans, frying pan, uh, extension cord, plug strip, uh, power adapter for staying in a campground. Uh, some LED lighting here, also runs, um, on the same 12 volt system as the fridge. It's really handy when you're cooking, shines down, or you know, shine it into the van, which will it might as well.